welcome back to the channel all right today we are starting out here because the sun is out it looks good everywhere so we are going to run the house off of the inverter and the way we do that is we first we're going to cut off the mains all right mains did And we'll go in and verify by showing that there will be no lights yeah no lights on and all right that means the whole house is off we'll get back in through here excuse the, the mess and the cat <laughs> move cat Move, cat. All right. We shall come into the garage, which also has no light on at the moment. All right. And give me one second to hook this inverter up. Now, what I've done is I put in my, my twist lock. This twist lock comes from, see if we can see, yeah. Comes from the breaker box over there, which is the inverter's output. And this goes all the way up to the main panel. And when we start to turn on the loads, we now have light throughout the house. So now the whole house is started. Now that that is up and running, I will plug in my refrigerator and freezer. I didn't want to uh, start those earlier because the, the house has been off power for about, yeah five minutes or so um or this plug anyway so we will we will uh there we go now they're started up and just to make sure which i already hear them running yeah and there's the freezer all right so now we are officially up and running. We don't really need this light on, although it may come in handy in a bit. And here's our information. You can see the batteries still look good. 57.8 is, is full, they're floating. And that's with everything on. Um, you can see right there we're pulling 352 watt 353 watts coming out um, and that's mainly because everything that is on is either LED lights or uh, or not much load going on at the moment um, so that's that's where we're at and everything will run and in fact hold on one second all right we are now back in the living room with power and everything on so now we will power up the uh pellet stove and get it continued to be warm in here and uh that's coming from the inverter as well and i say all the everything is on and i'll be back I yeah, figure while we're at it, we may as well start a load of wash. So, yeah, that's off and going. Also off grid as as well. Like I say the whole house is is uh, now being powered via the the inverter, um, and it looks good. Everything is going. We'll go out 
and we will check the actual wattage pole. And when it comes around to it, there we go. So that's what we're pulling right now. That's with the heater and everything. It was 840, 840 or so, and we're still in float. So we're not even touching the, um, the batteries at the moment. Yeah. Um, everything's still, everything's still looking good and will. It will stay that way now throughout until probably four o'clock this afternoon. Um, and then I'll have to, I'll have to go back on grid, um, simply because I don't have a big enough, anywhere near big enough battery to, to try to do it, um, without solar support. But throughout the complete day when the, when the sun is out, this is how I do it. Real quickly before I go, I wanted to cover how I have this, this, uh, hooked up. This breaker, um, let's see ya. This, this breaker here is from the inverter, directly from um, the output of the inverter. I'm trying to make sure you can see my, yeah. From the output of the, of the inverter, straight in, into the box. Um, and it's, you know, properly in. Uh, and it goes to that breaker so that I can turn the inverter off from the from the panel box, obviously. This breaker here is actually the breaker that stops the current from coming out of the box that goes to this cable, to my four pin twist. Um, just so that if I want to, I can stop the, the back feed to the main, you know, to the mains or to the house but still have power on this panel. And the reason being is because I have a couple of these, these two, these two, even though they're in the same box, this plug and this plug, you know, this one and this one are on two different breakers, two different legs. Um, this cable just runs to this, to the, 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 the um, workbench here. And I have power supply, you know, in here. Um, <laughs> that, that gives me power from out front, but it also gives me nine outlets so that if I want to use my, um, heat gun, soldering gun, any of that kind of stuff while I'm working, then I can, I can do that from here. Uh, even if I'm not running the full house, which is why I can kill the power from there. Um, these are the, are all the solar, the, the, the negative and positive for each, um, for each array. There's two arrays on there. That will be sorted out. I'm gonna run, it's actually gonna come from here and it's gonna run up the side, up the side of the thing and across in conduit. Um, so I'm gonna come all the way up to probably roughly, well, I'll, I'll probably just go right on up and, and stay on the, on the joist all the way to the end of the garage there um and then come behind where them ladders are where the where the wall is i'll come i'll come back down and um and that's where it'll come outside um and, and continue on but until i get that all in conduit i wanted to keep it semi-protected and safe um because there's 350 volts on each one of them lines so i have it actually in conduit <laughs> in the garage right here uh for now um until until um i get it in the proper uh emt um and that'll be coming as the budget allows same thing with this four pin twist now this is proper uh, cable that that can be used uh, as per code um, here, as long as um, it is mounted in an area where where it can't be 
damaged or cut. For instance, I can run it along the side here, back in behind, along the side up with, ca with um, cable support um, and go all the way up there and go across and then pull that panel, uh, pull that, that board right off of the, uh, the wall there and go directly into the panel box there. That's how it's gonna be done uh, when I get around to doing that. Um, <laughs> but it's all just being set up as I go. Uh, so don't judge. <laughs> um, it's safe and everything is good and, and I really like it. It's working out well. Um, and it's fun. It's fun building these things from the ground up. Um, while I'm standing here talking, we'll have a look. Still floating. Not using as much power. The washer has finished and I turned off the heat simply because I didn't need it out there, but it's still 250. Um, it, it fluctuates depending on what's on, but I'm good all the way up to about 1800, 1900 watts right now. In the summer, I'm good without even touching the batteries up through about close to three, three kilowatts. Um, but in the winter, at this angle, I, like I say, I can hit, I can safely hit 1800 without, without tapping, without using any from the batteries. So um, that's all I need right now. And that's, that's it.